Ready. Fight. Yo, what's up? Amy Chim here. So, thank you for clicking on this video. And we will be fighting the MK2 Gladiator. So, uh, the MK2 has a very high angle of attack. And it's a bit slow. So, the turn radius of this plane is also um, sharp. And I wouldn't wouldn't want to fight him in a uh, circle fight. So what I'm doing is uh, taking the fight in a vertical uh, climb because uh, compared to Spitfire, Spitfire has a strong engine, so it has a good climb rate, and that's what we will be uh, taking advantage of. As you can see here, I tried to do a circle fight with him, and <laughs> he already has his nose on me. So if I continue doing that, that would uh, this would end up in disaster. So yeah, I'm trying to uh, maintain my speed. I'm not trying to uh, do uh, sharp turns to again maintain my speed because speed is what I will need to win this fight. Uh, you can see he's falling behind, unlike other planes. If you are fighting the BF or another Spitfire. Usually they are, um, they can stay behind you unless you do uh, evasive maneuvers. But here you can see he's uh, always falling behind. But again, his um, high angle of attack. <laughs> Look at him turning. It's like it's just floating in the air. <sighs> at that I'm already kind of uh, like I'm pulling too hard to try to aim at him and you can see my cock uh, cockpit buffeting so I guess that's uh, an obvious sign how hard I'm pulling here to uh, turn my nose on him Still haven't. Uh, and still haven't had a, a line of sight or my gun, gun sight on him. Oh. <laughs> if this game has a fuel, um, uh, fuel gauge or something. Like it, if it runs out of fuel, I think I will be running out already because I've been running the uh, Spitfire engine on full power since almost the uh, beginning. See how sharp or how uh, steep he can turn. But if I try to uh, pull, like if I try to pull the Spitfire uh, at the same turn rate that he is doing, I will. Uh, have an accelerated stall and at the uh, altitude that we're in at least now we're a bit higher but what the altitude we're in earlier it's um, there's really no turning room or uh, room for correction if we will have a stall man Actually, I um, I was successful fighting the MK2 before in a circle fight, but I was using a um, a BF C1 or F1 plane, and the advantage that I can have with that is that you can control its flaps. Unlike the Spitfire, when you um, deploy the flaps, it just ret um, it just deploys at full um, like a hundred percent but if with the uh, BF planes you can actually manually uh, set the degree or the uh, percentage of the uh, deployment of the flaps and I can usually set it to just 60 percent or 70 which will help me uh, increase my angle of attack and that will 
um, help me keep up with the turning rate of the uh, gladiator so maybe next time I will uh, have or I will set the uh, I'll try to fight the MK2, gla MK2 gladiator with a BF plane and just see the uh, magics of the flaps and typically you don't want to uh, use flaps in a real world, real world scenario because flaps just really slows you down but I, get, um, I think in this one 1v1 dogfight that could be an advantage but it's something that you need to understand and learn first because uh, using flaps is not just I mean flaps is not a magic button to win a dogfight it's really more on uh, trading something for another so unless you don't know what you're trading there well I wouldn't suggest using flaps actually so uh, so far I was able to get on a 6 but of course with his uh, slow and small radius turn I still cannot get a uh, gun my line gun of line of sight on him <sighs> let me try to do a uh, okay Where is he? Yeah. Uh, also the problem with the uh, or the difficulty with fighting the MK2 is because usually uh, you can just turn off your engine or you can just um, drop your throttle to maybe 20% or uh, at least slow um, just slow down your plane and usually other planes BF or Spitfire will just overshoot but with the uh, MK2 it's really hard to make it to overshoot where of course we are still possible it's not a zero chance but doing it is usually uh, uh, dangerous and it's like for example the cobra cobra maneuver as cool as it is it's not really advisable because it makes you a vulnerable target in a uh, if executed improperly so same as the, here if you try to make the um, oh I might I hope I hit him but yeah uh, if I try to uh, like break your speed or uh, slow down against the MK2 there's a high chance that he will get a line of sight first before he overshoots and um, makes you a KIA in the fight so uh, I think it's uh, already obvious how uh, difficult it is to fight the MK2, but um, I think I was able to fight the MK2 head to head when I have my um, elevator. It's like the driving assist or aim assist in other games, but in here it's uh, elevator experience. When you have it off. Uh, it helps limit the turning, the, the turning rate or the turning of the plane. Like even if you pull too hard, it will limit your pull, and that will uh, prevent the plane from stalling or reaching the high angle or the critical angle. But uh, it's still difficult, even with that. But um, I still have a lot of bullets, so uh, it's kind of already frustrating here. 
at, at least actually to be honest I'm kind of happy or uh, um, surprised that I lasted this long because before I usually uh, stalled the plane because of trying to again uh, keep up with the turning rate of the gladiator and surviving for I think uh, eight minutes or more is really a uh, achievement for me I think I might get a um, gun sight on him here just hopefully I don't stall so I can keep up with my turning with my turn still no luck oh shoot okay. that's what I'm saying because uh, before I usually have a stall spin and I don't know how to recover with it before Try to make the climb, see if he pops up. Still no sign. We go. This is what I hate with uh, playing with uh, touch screen phones. Like, even if you don't want to, because of the ghost touch. Okay, it's coming a bit too fast here. Let me try to, uh... Oh, shoot. Okay. That's my fault. <laughs> Okay, so for the uh, second round, I'll try to uh, just play with MK2, like show show you guys the uh, the uh, aggressiveness of this plane and how great its turning capabilities is. Of course, I'll try to I'll still try to win this fight, but um, again, I'll just try to play also a bit. Uh, still with the vertical fight, I'll I'll fight him because circle fight with him is really just um, like just surrender already with a circle fight with him. But uh, let's see with the vertical vertical fight. But instead of trying to climb then turn, I'll just uh, pull a bit hard with my turn to uh, again try to keep up and. This will uh, lose some speed for my plane. So at sharp turns again, you can already see if even with the uh, vertical fight, he can somehow keep up. And I, <laughs> I can only imagine like imagine if this is like a fifth or fourth gen fighter with a Fox two. And being able to aim at you in a circle fight like this. I think Sukhois or SU-35 or 27 can do this because of their um, vector uh, thrust vectoring. And I can only imagine again what it feels like to fight with them with that uh, turning capability. So yeah, I'm already stalling. And I'll just try to regain some speed, point my nose down. There we go. Still stalling. Here's the problem when you start to stall because you need to 
regain the uh, lift on your plane and usually yes as i was saying <laughs> when you try to regain your uh, or stabilize your plane usually you'll end up a an easy target and that's what happened to us when we tried to keep up and reach the critical angle we became a vulnerable vulnerable target so uh well yeah let's now go for the uh, third round here okay so uh the chickens are already crowing outside <laughs> and hopefully i win this match now this third round but uh even if i win this fight i think it's already obvious how uh how capable still the MK2 in a dogfight. So, whoops. Ooh. I think I got him there. I see, I see metals coming, <laughs> flying out of his plane. Yeah, it's. Oof. This is great. This is somehow these a decent, decent, uh. It's a decent one for, for him. Uh, and that was a clean shot. So I think this will now be easier for me because this will even make his plane more lose more power, uh, making him a more vulnerable target. But uh, yeah, by the way, if you're wondering why the MK2 wasn't uh, that popular against MK2 or I mean against Spitfire or BF planes is because um, MK2 is again a very slow moving plane compared to uh, Spitfire the, and in a all out war scenario like in WW2 uh, MK2 was in bad um, mass product manufactured so it they focus more on uh, modern planes so like uh, yeah BF planes or Spitfires so in a 5v5 scenario most probably there just there's just two MK2 and uh, even if let's say there were three MK2 sphere and three Spitfires uh, what they would just do is, of course, if one would be pursued by the MK2, MK2 couldn't keep up, and while the other, other two Spitfires will just fly above and catch them from behind. So yeah, they are very easy targets in a all-out war, and with the AA guns on the ground, they are also an easy target compared to uh, other faster planes. So yeah, they are really not. Uh, beneficial in a war but in a dogfight like this it's still again pretty uh, scared to fight with so uh, yeah I, mean, I can confidently say that at least we have him but again it's still not a win fight unless um, he touches the ground or he bugs out because even with this condition, uh, the plane can still fight, and if it can still fight, it can still win. So, oops! You can see my plane uh, always buffeting. So, yeah, that's really um, an indication that. My angle of attack is reaching the critical angle and uh, assign how hard or a uh, it shows how hard I'm pulling with my stick. So right now it's just the plane is very slow and I really can't keep up with him. And I'm trying to um, point there. That was almost a. Uh, if I was able to hit him there, it would have uh, ended the fight already. Let's see, where is it now? 
still flying. <laughs> like, uh, if he has, if, if this AI has like a kind of realistic personality, like it has an option to surrender, I think this is already a good sign that he could uh, back out. And if that's an option, I'll be gladly let him uh, live for another day. But uh, in this game, of course, that's not an option. So, oof. Pretty sure something hit him there. <laughs> and if all my bullets hit him. Still alive. <laughs> I guess uh, I didn't hit hit him. Okay, let's uh, climb a bit higher here and try to end the fight now. I guess if we get a get a uh, gunshot, a clean gunshot here, uh, which is not, <laughs> we could have uh, ended the fight already. Oh, I think we did. Did he crash already? Yeah, <laughs> finally. Did it crash? Oop. Almost crashed, all crashed also. <laughs> but uh, yeah, at least finally we did have a win uh, after all these fights. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this, it's quite a long video but I kinda had fun with it and hope you also learned something so as always have fun, see you in the next one.